The cameras love him, he loves the cameras. Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, he's now the top scorer in the league. Wonderful even by his high standards. Here he goes again, and it's live. It's Halloween, and we've got some football for you. Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith in the commentary box. Alan, the game today, Tottenham against Leicester City. Here is the Tottenham Hospital. Number 25, Jordan Pickford. Number 12, Victor Wanyama. Number 21, Hong Min Sun. Number 3, Danny Rowe. Number 14, George's Kevin Nakudu. Number 17, Musa Sissoko. Number 22, Tottenham, they'll be looking for another win. They played so well last time out, it was an away victory against Huddersfield Town. Yeah, good, good solid 2-1 victory. And enough talent within this team to get another victory today. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Raheem Sterling starts, a midfielder in good form. And the great man is up front today, Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the shot to put them in front. Cristiano Ronaldo! Ronaldo, a goal for Ronaldo! Well, if you keep going in to that sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. I think that's a lesson to anybody uh, in due in a goal drought. Keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the 6-yard box, and you will score. Well, oh, look at the manager, he works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. Tottenham Hotspur in front. Goal for Tottenham Hotspur. James. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Players haven't put the ball out, they're playing on, but the referee said no. He's worried about the player and he stopped the game. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Ortiz. Ndidi. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Tackle here. George Kevin Unkudu. Break quickly when they get possession. With good vision. Ronaldo. Okay. That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Sizoko. Well, Harry Kane on the radar for the crosses. Well, that's a comfortable save for the keeper from the header. Well, it's not the most powerful header you'll see this season or even in this match. Didn't time it. Svensson, Ndidi. Unkudu, slipping it through. Sterling, came the target. He must have thought he'd scored from that distance. The keeper had other ideas. Tottenham have got a corner now. Short corner. Mark Albright. Gezal. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. The referee's going to take action here. For Spurs and their player who was the culprit, it's yellow. I think in this climate, there's no doubt that's the correct decision. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he didn't. 
where it's a promising position. Got to try and test the keeper here. Let's fly! Goalkeeper can only parry it out. It's a very... And shoots! That's a shot well off the mark. Now Kane. The pass threaded through. Neatly intercepted. A poor technique there. The top goal scorer, not necessary top tackler. The yellow card for him, he's got to be careful. Well, as a striker, you can avoid tackling. I know that from experience, so I think he'll have to go in that direction now. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Probing pass. Real chance. Hey, oh, he's going to shoot from here. And that shot's blocked very quickly. <laughs> now he's on a yellow card already. What about this challenge? No sympathy here from the referee for the offender. He knows he's booked him once already, and it's the second yellow. Yeah, getting some dirty looks off his teammates who have now got to work doubly hard in this match. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Mark Albright. Referee is pointed for a free kick here. For the referee, a decision here, Alan, whether to book him or not. It's an or not. Yeah, and you get some refs that flash the yellow cards after one foul early on in the match. But this ref being a bit more lenient. There's some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. I'd be hoping not to be disappointed. And they get it away. It's one back. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. The shot's on! Okay. A bit predictable with guided through. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Break quickly when they get possession. And that will be offside. Flag went up. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he's one of our more experienced refs, isn't he? And... Uh... I like watching him go about his work and showed his experience there. We'll go back to the goalkeeper here. Can't blame him for that. It's been okay so far from Tottenham Hotspur. Just a few minutes to go to half time. Yeah, we've been used to seeing some free flowing football. There's been enough out there in this first half anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene still got a bit to do but this is promising looking for teammates in the middle decent opportunity there but it was easy in the end for the goalkeeper well I don't know what was wrong there whether he took his eye off the ball he certainly didn't connect with it how he should have indeed he a space to get the cross in he's got his shot off now Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. Well, this is a tough time for Tottenham. They have the lead. They want to hang on to that lead to half-time. At the moment, it's quite difficult for them in this game, and, of course, they've still got the second half to consider. Unkuru, excellent interception. He's had a go here. The goalkeeper with a textbook save. 
and keeps the ball in his grasp. He might be through. He's in now. He willed away in celebration, Harry Kane. Another fine goal from the Englishman. Well, it shows the affinity with this manager that the players head to him having scored a goal. Really good team spirit. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, that took a little bit of instinct. Restarting at 2-0. Tottenham Hotspur goal. Good chunk of added time here. Three Number minutes. 10, Harry Kane. Gezal saw the pass coming and got there first. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes. For Rose. When they play their kind of football, Tottenham are a joy to watch. And shoots! Tottenham have a corner now. He's put in the corner, cleared away by the defender. The header on target, but never looking as though it was going to get the better of this goalkeeper. No, he's under a bit of pressure to head the ball and uh, didn't really get... Well, that's half-time, and 2-0 is the score at the halfway mark. Let's hear from Alan Smith on Harry Kane and that first half. That was a good first 45 minutes. Some of the runs he made were really impressive and a goal led. So here we go for the second half. Ronaldo. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Good vision here. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, and I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. Here's Sterling. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. In with a chance. Gonna try his luck. The goalkeeper to the rescue. Well, it's one against one, and this keeper's got a good track record in those situations. Svensson, Ndidi. Celso Ortiz. Svensson. Ortiz. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. How about Leicester City's next game, Alan? They're playing Watford in their next match. Martin and uh, I do think it's going to be tight this one Ronaldo threads it through he's in well, here comes the support it's become a rather defensive policy here for the team that's camped really in its own half at the moment and that does let the opposition have free possession they can really come at you it's risky Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Danny Rose. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. It'll be a price to pay if he loses possession now. This turnover could be excellent vision. Needs to stay cool now. 
Mark Albright. Mbidi. Throw in to come. And the manager's decided for a change of personnel. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Mbidi. Idrissa Ghana Gay. Gezal. And here's the shot. Shots on here. Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes. He took it early though. Kane. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Captain Hotspur had a foul given against them. Well, this is going to be difficult for them, Alan, isn't it? They're already in trouble with the referee. And now they've got another yellow card here, which increases the pressure on this particular player. Yeah, I mean, discipline-wise, they've uh, not been at the best, making life really difficult for themselves. Number 15. Eric Dyer. Defended well. Now, can he take them on? Sterling! It comes out off the goalkeeper. That's a great clearance. What will the referee do here? He's booked the player already. Well, he's not learnt his lesson, Alan, has it? Because that's going to be a second yellow, and they lose the player. Well, he is a hothead. We've seen that so many times. His manager will be furious about that. He's got some room out here in the wide position. They've set it up well for the cross. Pretty late, the challenge. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. You can see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Oh, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. There's some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. I'd be hoping not to be disappointed. And they get it away. Is this a game? Shot on! Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. Well, we've been keeping an eye on Harry Kane, and you can see on your screen the kind of facts and figures his performance is throwing up for us. He is. He's managed to carve out plenty of shooting opportunities. Really has tested the keeper and got himself a goal in behind the defenders. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Pretty nervy here for Spurs, but they still hold the advantage. Yeah, and I think they are going to try and hold what they have. They seem to be sinking back a touch. Ndidi. Svensson. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. Trying to steer it through. So quick and often elusive, Sterling came the target. Cleared away by the defender. It's 82 minutes played now. Guiding it through. Defensive block there. No cross coming in. Good interception. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a... He's got his shot off now. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Rather hoisted into the middle and way over his teammates. Throw for Tottenham. Still can't believe that didn't go in. Keeper, what a stop.
please give a round of applause for today's Svensson. man of the match. Three minutes Number left 22. of the 90 minute match. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Kane. Delivered into the box. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. The referee's, referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Idrissa Ganagé. Rose. Sterling. Incisive pass. Final whistle goes. Victory for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, great heroics here. Quite extraordinary to win the game in these circumstances. Yeah, that shows the value of organisation and the ability to stick together. They did that and they saw it through.